Hello everybody and welcome to another video to help you decide how heavy should your door be when you are trying to create a soundproof studio. So in this video we're going to go over exactly how you figure out the weight of your door. We're going to do a little bit of basic math but it won't be anything too crazy. So trust me you're going to learn a lot in this video. Before we jump in let me tell you that I have a free resource for you. This is my free soundproofing workshop. This is 45 minutes of in-depth teaching, teaching you all about how to soundproof, build, and design a soundproof studio. So if you are on this journey, like I was building your own soundproof studio, then definitely check out that workshop at soundproofyourstudio.com. All right, let's jump into the video. So, if you've watched any of my videos before in the past or listened to the podcast, you know that mass is one of the most important things with soundproofing. And this is no different for how to figure out how much your door should weigh. The main thing is that your walls, both the inside wall and the outside wall of your soundproof room, must have the same mass as your door. So. That said, if we take the entire weight of everything on the outside of our wall, the entire weight of everything we put on the inside of our wall, add that together, it must equal the same square footage weight of our door. So to do this, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did in my studio. We're gonna add up the materials I used. Your materials may be different, but the concepts are what I'm trying to teach here so that you can then apply these concepts to your own studio build with your own soundproof door. So to start with, let's add up the weights of my wall that the soundproof door is on. So on the outermost layer of my studio, we used a material called hardy plank, which is a concrete based material that is looks a little bit like wood, but it's actually uh, made out of some concrete material, which makes it heavier, which is great, and also more durable to the weather. So this material, just doing some basic research here, came out to be 2.3 pounds per square foot. The next material on the inside of my studio build is a common material when building houses, and this is called OBS. It's a plywood type material, and it has a weight of two pounds per square foot. So those two things cover the wall on my outside of my studio. If you're building in a house or something, you may have two layers of drywall on the outside of your studio. But for me, because this is a room in my backyard, I have that same amount of mass built from these outside materials of hardy plank and OBS plywood. Now on the inside wall, we're going to look at what I put on that. So for the inside wall, it's pretty simple. I just had two layers of 5 8 inch drywall. Now 5 8 inch drywall, when you get the heaviest kind of drywall you can get in the United States here, it comes to a total weight of 2.2 pounds per square foot. So now we have all of our different building material weights. Let's add them up and figure out what the total weight per square foot is of our wall. All right, to do that, let's look at, we had the hardy plank, which was 2.3, plus the OBS, which was two pounds per square foot. And then we're gonna add our inside walls, which was the two layers of five inches, five eighths inch drywall, which is 2.2 plus 2.2. And our total comes to 8.7 pounds per square foot. Now that we know the pound per square foot of our wall, we can then figure out how much our door would need to weigh in order to match that. I will say that it is extremely smart to try to shoot as far above that weight of your wall as you can because you're dealing with a door which is not a perfect wall anyway, so the more weight you can add to that door, the better. So we're gonna shoot for a weight that is equal to our wall weight and above, ideally. All right, so now let's look at how much our door should weigh. So first we're gonna figure out what is the square footage opening of our door so we can figure out how many square feet we have for our door total. So for my studio, uh, my door is roughly, has an opening of 32 inches wide, and then it has a height of 78 inches. If we turn that and transfer that in total square footage of inches into feet, we get a total square foot of 17.34 square feet total for my door. Now, if we take that square footage and multiply it by the 8.7 pounds per square feet of our wall 
weight, we find that our total door weight needs to be 150.86 pounds. So we're shooting to get a door that is at least 150 pounds. So let's now look at what I did when I built my actual door. And I use the door method of what's known as a super heavy door that Rod Gervais talks about in his book, Home Recording Studio, Build It Like the Pros. Uh, and I always leave a link for that book in the description below if you're interested in checking that out. All right, so to start with my door, we bought a solid core door, which is just a slab of wood. Three quarter inch solid core door comes in at 60 pounds total. Then what I did is I added eight pounds per square foot of sheet lead to the back of that door. And so that came out to a total weight of 138.72 pounds when you fill out the entire back of the solid core door. And then on top of that, I sandwiched three quarter inch cabinet grade plywood on top of the sheet lead as Roger Weiss had recommended. And the three quarter inch plywood weighs 60 pounds. So the total weight of my entire door setup now is going to be the 60 pound solid core door slab plus the 138 pounds of sheet lead plus another 60 pounds of the plywood on top of the sheet lead for a total of 263.72 pounds. So as you can see, I am well over the weight I needed for my wall system, which is great, which is why Roger Weiss recommends this door, because for most wall systems, unless you're building with like massive amounts of concrete, to equal your wall system, your door will be plenty heavy, and that's what we want. So I hope this video was helpful in understanding how you can think through designing your soundproof door. Remember, it's all about figuring out the total weight of your wall, both the inside and the outside of your wall, and then taking that square footage or square meters and transferring it to your door weight. If you have found this video helpful, then definitely check out that free soundproofing workshop. I will go more in depth than I ever could in these YouTube videos to teach you how to design your beautiful, wonderful soundproof home recording studio. To check that out, you can go to soundproofyourstudio.com and get started right away. Thanks so much for watching everybody and listening on our podcast, new videos and podcasts every single Monday, same time, same place, and I will see you there. Thank you.